Enough of being cryptic. I uh, feel so weird. Hey, buddies, it's Will of DA Games, and uh, yeah, from the last few videos, you probably noticed that I've been very cryptic. Uh, I'd like to explain that. With promotion! So as you guys have known for the past maybe a year or two, as long as you've been here, I have no idea, unless you're new, the Heart of an Artist album is almost complete. I've got a few more songs just to kind of finish off, and I'd rather let you guys know exactly what I'm on about with this thing. Before we go on about any sort of release and all that stuff, I'd like to tell you a bit about Heart of an Artist and all that stuff. So this is a very personal and close to home kind of album. Uh, this is something I've always done with original songs. I've always wanted to make a story around it. I've always wanted to make it as crazy as possible, vague enough for anybody to understand, but it holds its stature. I'd like to let you know what Heart of an artist to me stands for. So we start off with the opening track, which is Descend Into The Iris. It is like a 15 second, hey, start with the fucking Overwatch. 15 to 20 seconds, I believe it is, something like that. It's like a little introduction, but that is your open entry to something called The Iris. This is an homage reference to back in the day when I had an Onyx Colony album called The Encrypt, in which that was about your own mental asylum in your head. The many obstacles you have to go through when being admitted inside of this, the mental scars that you gain from it, but the lessons you learn. Heart of an Artist is pretty much like that, it's, uh, it's more or less less of an asylum, but more so the eye of the beholder as a metaphor. Because you don't get to hear enough of what an artist goes through or a content creator goes through. There's a lot of hidden agendas, and uh, especially for me. Whether it's these days I've been a little more open, uh, a lot of you have uh, noticed that I've been going through a state of depression, a lot of anxiety, a lot, don't worry, I am getting better, just I need I need time away. And part of the thing that you saw out of my anxiety and depression was my rebuttal of the Bendy Chapter 3 and 4 song. I've actually had to blacklist those words. So if you don't see your comment come up because it said Bendy or something like that, yeah, that's why. I just don't want to see it on my timeline anymore. Because it got to a point where, legit, a police officer came over to my house because somebody ratted on me in some way. I've spent quite a bit away uh, from, you know, YouTube in general because I, I just, I'm just scared to upload. I'm scared to speak my mind and I'm very scared to just batten down on the problems at hand. I want to be as open and honest as possible, but unfortunately, when you provoke a dick, a, the dick just gets bigger. And that's a quote. But don't follow it. <laughs> but needless to say, I've stopped giving a shit about the dicks. You know, I, I've stopped giving a shit a long while ago because it's just gonna damper you. It'll scare anybody, it'll provoke you, and, and the more you try and provoke the shadows, the shadows will just get bigger. And throughout that time within the two years, I've been using this Heart of an Artist album as a venting chamber, making it very vague, but puts my story across, lets you have your own story too. So the first track is obviously descending into the iris. You are being emitted into the eye of the beholder, so let's get on with the regular tracks. So we're coming with a Scorcher, which is S.O.S., a recent song that I've been writing. In fact, like, the thing is, with the track list, it's not going to be in chronological order. It's not going to be from when um, I first wrote the songs to... Because S.O.S. would be the last song then, but it's not. I've arranged this into a way that the story arches, and for every depressing song that there is, it does have positivity in those ones. There is a counteract song which also helps it. And with SOS's cage, SOS to me is the feeling of being trapped inside a cage and those who want to help you are actually provoking the cage by poking it. You're like a little circus animal, so to speak. The feeling of when no matter what you do and no matter what stages you're in in terms of drama, people want to help you, but instead they provoke it further. And an SOS obviously is a call out. You know, you kind of want that help, you want that reaching hand, but you're desperately grabbing onto it in a point where you're losing hope. Draw the line in this case, counteract SOS in a sense where it's like, for the longest time you've sort of like built up all of this bottled up emotion and you just want to let it out. You kind of have to know where the line stands and that's where you draw your line. You know exactly where it is in the sand. If anybody tries to provoke it, you are getting out of that cage and you are beating the crap out of that shit. But once you're out of the cage, the lights start to go out because you've started to show your true colors. You know, the things that you try and fake to everybody to say that you're fine, but you're not really fine, and all that shit. Anybody seeing you on stage would probably see you as a, a bright, sporadic person, but back end, it's never usually the case. That was a very emotional song to me, and I never released it on stores, because if I were gonna sell it, then I wanted it to be cheap for the value. I didn't want to start expending myself on like a dollar per thing, so I wanted to really kind of bring it down. But with that, kings and queens starts to come into play. No matter how many times you have 
inside your mask, no matter how many times in the back end you are at your lowest of low, there will be a point where you snap and you're just, you've had enough. You kind of want to tackle the world and become your own king and queen at the end of the day. Essentially, forming your own crowd of kings and queens, for crying out loud. Nobody's the higher above. And then we go on to Why Do We Hold, which is uh, one of those epic songs I, I, I seriously love Within Temptation and Nightwish, so a lot of inspiration went into that. It's more so a question. Despite everything you've gone through in terms of being beaten to a pulp, emotionally manipulated, all this stuff, why do we still hold on? It's a question that a lot of people ask. A lot of my uh, social media groups have kind of contacted me just like, why do you even hang around these people? Unfortunately, with my case, I see a lot more positivity than the negativity. I try to look past it as much as possible. Um, because there's no grudges. I, I hate holding grudges. It just means another reason for that luggage, especially with how high up I am. They're gonna come back again, and I'd rather just... I'd rather just hold on. I'd rather just make sure everybody's okay after a huge war. And it's not as if they're doing it intentionally. It's, it goes back to SOS. They unintentionally do this stuff. That's why I see past it. So I may live to see the people who, you know, they can be dicks. Lost Now Found is one of those songs where, like, after all of the stuff that you've gone through, you kind of feel you need closure, but you haven't got it. You kind of just sat still, nothing, you, you, you're out of the way. And you don't know where to go, because uh, with depression and with anxiety, that there's, it's really, really tough to get out of the rut that you're in. You're kind of lost, you don't know where to go. But there's always going to be that one person, there's going to be that one really special person that comes out and grabs the hand, helps you gets you out of that rut. Lost now found. And love can be determined by relationship, friendships, co-workers. You know, you kind of set that boundary for yourself, whoever you choose. But then comes the song Too Dangerous. Those people that you got love from and the people who are cherishing you, they can be very dangerous. For, for those who have paranoia, for those who have anxiety, for those who have depression, it can be a very scarce thing. You, you, you kind of learn from my end how hard it has been to trust a lot of people. So, in a sense, they can be too dangerous for you. Whatever was the light kind of gets betrayed by darkness in some way. And again, this is all unintentional stuff, but for somebody who suffers from this, it can really take a damper on them. So that's too dangerous. Castle That Never Dies is one of those songs that it's more of a story than it is a song. It's kind of an interlude to the last song. It's kind of like every single song that you've heard before Castle Never Dies are the big subject matters that you cover. Castle That Never Dies is the story of that refuse from the castle being crushed down, but ideally it's another reason to suggest that you can build that back up again. It's a castle that never dies. I mean, I have my own story, but Castle That Never Dies um, is vague enough to not only put my side across, but also demonstrate somebody else maybe being able to take that in their own way. With that song, it comes the final two songs, which is You're Just Making Us Stronger and Heart of an Artist. You're Just Making Us Stronger is literally every bit of speck and dust. You know, those people who have unintentionally and intentionally tried to bring you down. No matter what the case, you need to remind yourself no matter how much they pummel you to the dirt, you are gonna get stronger from this regardless. It just makes you more aware of the future. And then Bam Sham in comes Heart of an Artist, which used to have some helding to it, but this is the reason why I write very vaguely. Originally, a lot of people thought this was to do with like the, the fandoms trying to bring me down, etc. But no, actually, it's a very different thing. It was more so the content creators, the people who really established themselves for business and they took your moral compass in, in passion and, you know, all the passion projects that we do that tend to lose business, aka brothers in arms. Like, you, no lie, I spent $10,000 on that video and I only got 4,000 back in terms of like the YouTube ad rev sales. So to a lot of people, they would have seen that as a loss. But to me, I saw that as a gain because it was still unique. It still generated an audience for the long-term effect and boom I mean you put enough passion into something people can see it and for the longest time even before brothers in arms uh, people would judge my moral compass quite a lot they they'd kind of rip it apart and sometimes dismiss themselves from my life and it it, it kind of hurt but now because the story entails of heart of an artist it, it still makes sense because heart of an artist is the reflection of everything that's happened before that the subject matter that you've had to overcome everything is a little reflection 
And however or not, that is the true heart of an artist. It's not meant to be just about art. It's not supposed to be like drawings or movies or music. It, you know, art comes in human form too. We are spirits of our own art. And that forms the entire thing. And then finally the outro, which is Ascend from the Iris. It is now your time to leave the Iris. You've gone through your emotional state of shit and now you're going back up. And finally, you're able to live your life. And who knows, you may have to come back to this again. It is a free and open door for anybody to listen to and make out their own interpretations. These are just my very own, but I make these songs for your own interpretation as well. And now on to the important stuff, like release dates and pricing, etc. Well, we're actually working with a few people. Uh, Screenwave, our partnership, Screenwave Media, is aiming to sell the album on Amazon and their own store as well, physically. Digitally, you'll still be getting, you know, on Spotify, Google Play, and iTunes. But uh, the release date is May 24th, which is Momocon's performance day. So if you're, if you're going to Momocon and playing two songs live, gonna be good. Well, there's a bunch more songs, but two of them are Heart of an Artist related. Stuff that's never properly been heard before. It's not gonna be Heart of an Artist in general. But when Heart of an Artist releases on May 24th, you will also on YouTube be getting 12 videos that day, each of them being a song from the album. Descend from the Iris, SOS, Draw the Line as the Lights Go Out, uh, the list goes on. Essentially, you'll be, you'll be able to play it on YouTube uh, for your listening pleasure. Because we know a lot of people can't buy stuff, you know, that there's not a lot that they can spend. Some people have to save up for other things. And we'd rather get this album as accessible as possible, but we would love and genuinely appreciate every bit of support you could. If you could listen to them on Google Play, iTunes, and Spotify, and all that stuff, it would really, really be appreciated. On top of that, physical and digital releases will both be combined when we sell our stuff at conventions. So obviously we've got Momocon, Too Many Games, and Insomnia 63 this year. We aim to have physical copies of the albums, have inside digital download codes for Bandcamp, so it's private, essentially, once you've downloaded it, you've downloaded it. But we do have 24-hour limits on those codes, so once you're done, you're done. Now, a lot of people would speculate that releasing an album with digital codes in like this, people would be able to take that album, rip it, and everybody can just re-upload it, which kind of sucks, and it's why I'm really hesitant about it, because it's just fueling the fire for the dicks. But honestly, if they're willing to go that far, then they literally have no life whatsoever, or no respect. Like, let's put it that way, they're just cocks. And you need pay no attention to those people, because that's what I'm doing at the moment to combat this stuff. I'm just gonna release it um, physically, digitally, uh, private codes, all that sort of stuff, just to get it accessible for you. And no, there's no SoundCloud release. I don't plan on releasing anything on SoundCloud. It's, it's not a thing that I do. The only reason I use SoundCloud is for like, beta tests for songs, like new EQs and stuff, and new uh, voice demos. But if I do find breaches in it, we do have a copyright claim system, and we also now do have a copyright strike system, so we're combating it in any way. Speaking of, like, Heart of an Artist in general, I, I just want to confirm that on Too Many Games' release, we will have a digital deluxe edition. A better case, better CD, um, just a lot of cool art, etc., but also three new tracks, one of them being a bonus track and two of them being live versions from Momocon. Essentially, I want to finish this last song and I can't, I, I won't stress any details about it yet. This is only for close friends and family, but I just don't have time. That You know, there's been a lot of shit going on in my life, so I haven't been able to do so much. But nowadays, I'm, I'm really kicking back into the spirit. Unfortunately, it was too late. I can't really finish the, the song at hand because I still have to release this physical one and I don't want to break the promise of releasing Heart of an Artist on May 24th. I don't wanna just dismiss that. I gotta hold up to it. So by too many games, there will be a deluxe edition for you guys to hold on to. Again, that will be sold on Amazon and Screenwave Media Store uh, in the coming days. But that's all I really have to say about uh, Heart of an Artist. This is a true passion project of mine and we are going full ham on it. I don't expect to gain profit. I don't expect to lose profit. This is, an, this is one of those things where I, money doesn't matter. Heart of an Artist is my passion project and I just really want to get it out there because it's my diary. It is my own diary and I want everybody else to feel as well. I want to step away from video game music for a bit because I mean, as much as I'll still be doing it, I kind of need this off my chest first. Imagine if I asked you, like, um, you know, instead of playing the game that you really want to play, 
um, you have to play to a demographic. So you have you have to play Fortnite. You have to play Bendy. You have to do that stuff. You wouldn't like that if you had a favor of something else and you had to be pinned down to it. Eventually, that stuff weighs thin on you. You may feel strong right now, and many of you might be cocky right now and say, "Oh no, I think I'd be okay with it." You wouldn't do it down the line. You'd be lying to yourself and then you would want to kind of start doing the thing that you want to do, but then the audience won't see that as the real you. They'll see it as a facade, and you won't like that either. That's what causes a lot of depression, and that's why a lot of people quit, and we don't want quitters. I used to quit, and I nearly did recently, but um, time is everything. I was recapped on that by a lot of my friends, and seriously, that means a fuck ton. Thank you. So this is priority. Part of an artist, priority. I really want to get this out there. As soon as that's done, then I'll, I'll start working on more DA game stuff. By the way, the album isn't fully finished yet. We're still doing a few refinements, um, but we do have a Twitch streaming uh, service, DA Games Official on Twitch. Uh, we stream there a lot more for video games. So if you want to see more video game content from us, these are the places to go. And no, it's not. It's not demanding you to pay stuff. You can view it free. You don't have to support us with money, etc. You can just be there and watch because we, we like showing stuff to people. And we are also doing Heart of an Artist as um, a behind the scenes in a way. We did one and people really liked that. I felt really awkward by it because the microphone was picking up too much distortion um, at certain parts, but I'll be fixing that later down the line. Up to the point now where finally we get to do this stuff for you guys, like streaming. I want to, I'm not going to lie, like, I, I'm scared of YouTube. I have been very scared for a while. Ever since uh, telling people about, you know, the Bendy Chapter 3 and Chapter 4 stuff, it scared me to living hell because as soon as that police officer came over, because no, that wasn't just a joke, it was real. Police officer came over to my door and, um, well, it was about a drug thing. But I don't take drugs, so ultimately, it was a false cause. And later I sort of correlated and found out, yes, it is to do with the Bendy Chapter 3 and 4 song cancellation. Wouldn't you be scared? I don't know. Put, put down in the comments below what you would think if you were Gret with a police situation regarding your channel. Think of it as like swatting in a sense, except swatting's more so like um, really serious. They start pinning you down to the floor, etc. This was just a simple knock at the door. You know, it's like, hey, okay, I was just this blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, it's just kids trying to piss me off. They did drug tests, they did all that stuff, they had a breathalyzer. I'm clean. It's just a shame that people go to those levels. So I got really scared of doing this. But I realized I also can't give up either. There's a lot of you guys who really appreciate what we do. And to, to take something away from you guys because the dicks decided to do something, yeah, I, I do feel you and I do apologize for that. While I may not be doing a Bendy Chapter 3 or Chapter 4 song, there will be something but I will not be telling anything more about this. And the blacklist words on my YouTube comment section will still hold strong. So if you ask a Bendy related question, it will be removed by the YouTube system. So that's just the way it goes. If you don't like it, you can suck it. But if you're okay with it, I'm fine with you too. I'm trying to be a little more positive. Today I actually made my bet. I, I wanna give a massive shout out by the way to someone called La La Nice Lady. Uh, her channel is down in the description below. I, 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 please go to the description, check her channel out. If you suffer from like anxiety or depression or just general day problems, she's like an agony aunt in some sense. And she's also one of our moderators uh, for the stream and the Discord server. And she's been an absolute blessing. Seriously, if you need any help, go to her. It's a, it's a fantastic fleet. Because like, um, th there was a video that was more so aimed at me, but in the interpretation that everybody else could. Lala, if you're watching this, I know I didn't respond on Messenger, but I'm here talking now. I want to show you how much that affected me. Because I, it's simple. She At the very beginning, she was just like, you know, get up, make your bed. And uh, there was a video that I also got linked about it. But as I was watching the video, I was making my bed. At first I was like, ah, this is ridiculous. It's just making a bed. What more could it do? And then I, I made the bed and I'm like, I oh, oh, can do more, mate! So then I did clothes, I went out to the shops, I showered. I mean, it doesn't look like it, but I have been sweaty in this room, so it, it, this does happen. I went on stream, I, I did all this cool stuff today. So I feel really positive, and whatever negatives come my way, I just want to gush it out, just want to fucking pummel it down. Because there's no, again, Charlie as well, CG5, he's been a real good help to me as well. There was a point where we kind of had a disagreement on Twitter, but like, we made up, and he has the best intentions at heart. Okay? He has the best intentions at heart, and, you know, you shouldn't be scared doing this stuff. None of you should be scared at what you do, despite anything that's happened, despite the police coming around, 
to my house, despite all the, the constant threats that I get. I've spent three years doing YouTube. I've spent 20 years doing content creation. I'm not stopping there. It just means that I'll be going elsewhere for a bit. I'll be going to Twitch and I'll also just be doing regular music on the side. But fear not because there will be videos coming. Um, I've got some videos recorded in the backlog I still need to edit. So I might do that. I might actually get something sorted for that. And I know I don't want to keep you longer because this has been a massive vlog. It's been fucking long last time, mate. But I want you to know that I'm okay. I'm fine. Um, a Heart of an Artist album is getting released May 24th. There'll be a digital deluxe. It'll be physical and digital. There will be videos later down the line, but don't expect them for a bit. For in the meantime, go to my Twitch, DA Games Official. I will be streaming all the games that I would normally do on uh, YouTube, if not just a bit more. And they're entertaining as well. We have highlight reels. Check them out on every Sunday. They are noise. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to get going. Thank you all so much for your patience and determination in this. Don't worry, I'm okay. Um, just don't let the dicks get to you. Um, if you're finding a dick in the comment section, uh, just, uh, don't be too harsh either. That is something I need to stress before I go. I'm really sorry. There's just a lot on my mind. The comment section, I see that people doing demands, etc. I, I don't appreciate the comments that respond to those comments that act vicious, like kill yourself comments and stuff like that. You look just as bad doing that. I, I am a bit disgusted by the, some of the reactions that people give. I get it. You care a hell of a lot. I love that you care, but sometimes there is too much care to give. Uh, and you just have to learn at a point where, that if nobody's going to listen, you just... You got no more to say, you just... It, it Go, it's fine. It's when you can't ignore it that it gets insane. But don't rise to their level. Or stoop to their level, whichever one. Point being, just, just be nice. Just try and be the nicest person you can be. Um, learn when a backbone is needed. Um, just keep working hard. A lot of you who are suffering from the same stuff that I am, I hope Heart of an Artist resonates with you in some way, and I hope we can work together on this. I am getting kind of emotional right now, so... Because this is... I'm, I'm not kidding. This is like a fucking passion project for me. I love it. I don't smile often, but Heart of an Artist has done that for me, and I don't care if it critical reception, like really bad reception or negatives. This is my passion project. Maybe the next album I'll start taking a bit more seriously, but this one... This one's mine, and I'm so glad you guys get to hear that. Anyway, I'm going to get going. I'm Willa DA Games. I hope you enjoy Heart of an Artist when it comes out. I'll speak to you guys very soon. Peace out!